She's in the conversation. Based on what you said, you belong to Islam, you don't belong to Islam. Christianity actually imposed the, the Trinity, talking about the Trinity as uh, the concept of God, etc. Uh, uh, My point is, uh, as a son of God, etc. But in Islam, we all of these and we believe in his miraculous birth, and, and we don't believe in his status to be his normal. We see his appearance and that's a key thing. Now, now the question is, since you believe in one God, the faith of one God, since you believe Jesus is a prophet, if I prove to you Muhammad is a, is a prophet and is sent by God, will you accept to be Muslim today? I'll be honest with you, I don't think so. I'll ask you, what I need to do is I need to have like a thorough read for myself. I like to know. I understand. If I prove to you things that make sense to you, not to me, it makes sense to you. Mm. But I'll bring you the evidences which make sense to you, not just only for me. If I prove to you this, will you accept to be Muslim? So even if the truth is there, you will not accept it. Well, if it's if it's a concrete fact that Islam is the way, then I will therefore not be the Muslim. Concrete, the way. concrete fact. Yes. Concrete with no with no even beyond any doubt. No dispute. No, no dispute. Concrete fact. If I prove to you now, will you accept to be Muslim? I mean, we not to see. Though. Depends what you have to do. When it comes to the body, we said if it's concrete fact. Well, if it's concrete fact, then yeah, I, I believe what the. Concrete All right, so we're talking about the, uh, the prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need concrete fact, yes? Facts, okay. beyond any doubt. Yeah. Shall we use the previous scripture talking about an expected figure who's going to be coming and this figure has certain characteristics. Shall we talk about it? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Okay, good. I assume, I assume you have read the Bible. You have read the Bible before, yes? Since you have read the Bible, yeah? Okay. Okay. Here. Have you have you read have you read in Isaiah? Oh yeah, yeah, I know Isaiah very well. Yeah. Here. Sing to the Lord, yeah, a new song. His praise from the ends of the earth. Yeah. You who you go down to the sea. Yeah. And all uh, and all that is in it. Yeah. You uh, you islands and all who live in them. Yes? Mm -hmm. Fine, so far. This new international version, yes? Yeah? Now the next one. Here. Let the wilderness, yeah? And the towns raise their voices. Let the, yeah, the settlement where Kedar lives, yeah? Rejoice. The, where Kedar lives, rejoice. Let the people of Sila sing for joy, let them shout from the mountain tops. Yeah? 
Yeah? Why? Why they let? Why this? Why this happen? Why God is saying this here? Yeah? yeah. Let them give the glory of the Lord yeah? and proclaim and His praise in the islands. Yes. Why is that? Let the Lord, here, the Lord will march out like a champion, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal, and he and and with shout he will raise in the battle cry and will tremble over his enemies. He's talking about a person. Yeah? Okay. Inshallah, Ajikum, Inshallah. Just let me finish with you. Okay. Inshallah. Okay, Inshallah. When? Okay, Inshallah, Mash Ajikum. So he's talking about a man who will be coming. This man is a warrior. This man will be shouting in the battlefield. This man basically is a champion. So talking about an, a person. They translate this person, Lord, here. Yeah, they say Lord here. You said definitely the man who is walking and a warrior, etc. This is definitely not God. Yes, there is a man. So this this person. So there is someone who will be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. For a long time, I will. He will keep. Yeah, for a long time, I have kept silent, and I have been quiet, and held my myself back. But now, like a woman. Oh, anyway. But that's. We, we just wanted to go to the previous one. This is until 30. So from these few chapters. We're, we're talking about certain places, am I right? Yeah. Certain places, certain people will be rejoicing and there will be a man who's a warrior, will be there, he was known and he will be shouting in the battlefield. Now who is this person? According to Christian they say, this is Jesus. Was Jesus a warrior? He wasn't, he wasn't considered a warrior, no. He wasn't a warrior. He was, he was, he was called an austere man. He was a man. He wasn't a warrior. Yes? yes? So he wasn't a warrior, definitely. So that means there is someone else. This person is someone else. Definitely is not Jesus. Am I right? Yeah? Well, I believe, um, I believe they said that that's a prophecy. That's a prophecy. Prophecy, prophecy to come. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the, 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 the terms land of Kedar? Kedar, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Who is Kedar? To be honest, I don't know Kedar. Okay. Do you know the sons of Abraham? You had Abraham, then you had Isaac, and then Jacob, the descendants. Okay, Isaac. Do you know the other son of Abraham? Like Ishmael. Like Ishmael. Who is Ishmael? Ishmael was regarded as a, as, a, as, a, as a mighty man. A mighty man and a prophet, yes. Ishmael, he was left in the desert. Yeah? With his mother, Keturah and Sarah. No, not Sarah and Azul Hagar. They call it Hagar. Hagar, Hagar. Hagar. Yeah. yeah, Hagar. They were left in the desert, and Ishmael later on he was married from the original Arabs, and then he got ten sons. Yes. Yeah. One of his sons, is, his name is Kaidar. Okay. Kaidar is. They said either the eldest son or the second son of Ishmael. Yeah. So he had Nebot, the first son. He has Kaidar. So, what, who is this Kaidar? What is the significance of this Kaidar? Kaidar basically is basically is the forefather, is the you know, great grandfather of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. What is the lineage of Muhammad? His name is Muhammad Abdullah. All the way goes back, all the way to Ishmael. Goes all the way back to Kaidar, the son of Ishmael. So the people of Quraysh, the people of Mecca, they are known the people of Kaidar. Yeah? The Kaidari people. Those are the Arabs, the descendants of Ishmael, who lived in Mecca. Yeah, they lived in the Arab Peninsula, in the desert, in the wilderness, the desert in Mecca. Those are the Kaidari people. Those are the ones, the descendants of Ishmael. And actually, the, uh, the, 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 uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is one of the Kaidari people. Yeah? So that's one thing. Adding to this, where is Salah? So we talk about Kedar lives, where Kedar lives, means where Kedar lives, here. Where Kedar lives, lives in Becca, in Mecca. That's where Kedar people, yeah? That's where the, is that where the cobblestone is? Born? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? 
So the Kedari people, they lived in Mecca. That is where the land of Kedar. Yes? Now, where is Salah? Yeah? They're talking about the mountain of Salah, yes? Mountain. Of what? Yeah? Yes? Where is the mountain of Salah? In Medina. Yeah? That's the mountain of Salah, yeah? That's the mountain of Salah here, in Medina. Medina. Yes. Now here, what is the link between Kedar and Salah? Yeah? We told you, here, that's the Medina, yes? Where is Mecca? That's Mecca. That's mountain of Salah. What is the link between these two areas? This where Kedari people lived. That's where the mountain of Salah. What is the significance between these two areas? That is a direct link. I will tell you. The Kedari people lived in Mecca. Yes? The other tribes of Arabs lived in Salah. When the, our Prophet, peace be upon him, became a Prophet, and then later on his own people start fighting him, he migrated from here to here, to Medina. And he settled in Medina near the mountain of Salah. There, when they fought actually their enemies, there when he, when he defeated his enemies, there when God has mentioned about him, he will be shouting in the battlefield and he will be victorious, he will be defeating his enemy. Tell me, is, this is not my scripture. This is not the Quran. This is the old scripture. Now, does, this, does that make sense to you? The way you broke it down, the way you broke it down, with regards to like the link of them, um, you broke down like the, the sea land and everything, which also makes sense. Yes. You spoke about the land of Ishmael, which I can't repeat it's yes. in the Bible as well. Yes, in the Bible. And here, I will say, I will say to you, One second. Here, Ishmael. Yeah, who are his sons? Yes, they say that's his sons. Yeah, where is the where they put the sons of Ishmael? By the way, family tree maybe. Yeah. Kedar. Yeah. Second. That's Ishmael. Yeah. That's Ishmael, yeah? Nebeoth. Who's the second one? Kedar. Kedar, yes? That's the Kedar. This is the son of Ishmael. Yeah? Family tree, in terms of history, that basically Kedar is, the, they said, the second son of Ishmael. And this is where, this is the greatest, the great grandfather of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay, so Muhammad came from that, from that line. Yes. Okay. Does that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yes. And here, I will show it to you. Here. Uh, Prophet Muhammad family tree. Where is... Prophet Muhammad family tree. Okay. No, we want to go back his father's. Yeah? Here you go. Yes, here. Come, brother. That's him, yes? Muhammad. Yeah, Ibn Abdullah. Yes, goes there. Ibn Hashim. Yes, okay. Ibn Abd Manaf. Okay, here. Ibn Abd Manaf here. And then goes back to Atiq. Goes back all the way to who? The Kaab. All the way goes to Quraysh, to Malik, to Adnan. Okay. 
those are the names of the ancestor of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him now and he came why he will be he said he will glorify me he will glorify God yes and as well will give the status of the other prophets as their status now he is the one who said the one will be giving the book he will be said read he will be said I'm not a reader who's in the history applies to which individual is it reference to Muhammad yes. does that make sense to you my brother even though we're using this adding to this when you read the Quran talks about him peace be upon him talks about that he was sent as a mercy to the mankind he was sent as a prophet and messenger of God he sent he said prophecies that's happening he said in every single house Islam will enter and it's happening now whether people accepting Islam or not now in every single house made of wood or made of bricks or made of wool Islam penetrates there and enters there he told us 1400 years ago and yet this is happening he told us in a time where the, they were surrounded by pagans and no one can even think that they can even succeed and yet he said this who taught him about this who taught muhammad about this i mean who taught him that his religion will reach the east and the west uh, who taught who taught him about this prophecy huh? God, am I, am I right? God, God, he taught him. Am I right? Does that make him a prophet, a messenger of God? What we said initially? What we said, what was our agreement initially? That if it's concrete facts, then I'll convert. But, but I'll say this though, because obviously, I can't speak for myself personally because I haven't read the Quran, so I can't really comment on it. Obviously, that's something I need to do in my own time. But one thing I'll say is this because I know people that have read the Quran, and according to what they've said, according to the Quran, um, prophecy was given unto the children of Israel. But I don't know whether that's true or not. Again, that's something I need to look into personally. But that's what they've come out and said. Yeah, God favored them and chose them at certain points, which is true, because God has sent from them prophets and messengers. That's fine. But again, God choose whomever we wish and choose a prophet and messenger, which is true. And that's a key thing, my brother. That's how it is. So when God has sent the prophet and messengers, God sent them for a mission. So the same thing applies to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We said to you initially our agreement, if that's concrete, and is that concrete? Well, how about this? Are you, are you here every week? I'm here every week. But we have agreed for today. Am I right? No, we did. Because now that I think about it. I don't know you are a man of your word. No, no, I'm, I'm a man of word. Because I must admit, I'm not 100% convinced because of this thing that I need to go over myself. You know what I'm You're saying? You're convinced? Hmm? You are convinced? In what sense? You, you already know and you are convinced. But if you choose not, there's, I will not no, force no. you to become Muslim, Obviously, but I'm saying no, to you. No, no, I, I do agree. I do believe in what you're saying in regards to that, the whole breakdown of the scene and everything. Okay, I, then. I can't be refused because also you brought out the facts. But I'm, talking, I'm just talking solely, solely from the perspective of um, prophecy and a few other things in it. Because I need to like get the context behind it. That's why we are here to teach you and we will be teaching you. Islam is the zone of knowledge and all of that time, all the time we're going to be teaching and educating you. We'll not leave you. Because we'll I, be there to teach you. I got this, so I definitely look into it. So you don't want to become Muslim today? Definitely not today. Why not? Because we were agreement initially. I don't Am I right? That's true. That's, yeah, but if I'm if I'm heavily persuaded, but obviously I'm not. If I'm being honest with you. I'm you not. didn't say heavily persuaded. No, you no, said convinced. concrete. Yeah, concrete. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. I'm not 100 percent convinced. It's concrete. That's concrete. I, I told you. Now listen. I mean, it's okay. Are, it's okay. Concrete. It's okay. It's a concrete fact. It's fact. That's concrete fact. If you choose not to accept it, that's totally up to you. I, I could tell you this, the sun is there, and you could say no, that's not the sun. That's up to you. But the sun is there. It's the sun. It's not something else. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, moon hiding in a pretending. It's the sun. <laughs> so, so I'm. I'm. I'm uh, you know. I, you know. I could tell you that. I could show you the truth. But it's up to you to accept the truth or not to follow the truth. That's totally to you. Well, some. That's the, why I ask you in agreement. Yeah. If it's the truth, will you accept it? No. Well, and that you you accept as the truth. I do, I do. I do still stand by my word. If it's hundred percent concrete, but at the same time, I'm, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not 100% convinced it's concrete because there's other things that I need to like check for myself. Read the Quran yeah, yeah. and look into the Quran and may Allah guide you to the truth. And we can't, you know, at the end of the I day. Mean, yeah, the 100%. If it's, if, if it's the truth, the concrete truth and nothing but the truth, then I have no other choice but to accept the Quran. What are, what other things that you need? And I will, I will bring it to you. What other things that you need? Um, yeah, there's all other things. Apparently, 
those here, other um, Muslims or people that are previously Muslim, they come out and say that they no longer adhere to the religion because things like Muhammad apparently dating like an under, underage woman or girl, um, and apparently he took, he constructed his religion and basically took certain ideologies based off the scriptures that the original Torah. Not necessarily. Well, like I said, like I, said I, I can't. If it's there, if it's there, if it's there, I mean, if you read the Quran, you'll find there are certain similar stories, but you know. Like you That's could say, 90% of the Quran is not saying. Even the stories in the Quran has details which is not mentioned there. Okay. That tells us it came from God, not from him. And he was illiterate. The one illiterate, will yeah. be given the book, an illiterate man to be given the book, he's not a reader. He cannot read. He wasn't able to read or write. Yes, at all. He was the illiterate man. Mm. So things like that. I mean, but like I said, I can't... To say, to say structured things based on his reading, he doesn't read. No. Well, that's why I say that from what they say, I can't take their their testimony as gospel because I haven't, I haven't studied it for myself. So yeah, that's why we, we advise you to read the Quran and well, them that's too. why I read it for myself. But them, they, them saying that Muhammad dated unreal. Will, will you promise at least to come next week? Yeah, yeah, the 100%. Come next week after reading the Quran and open your heart to the truth. Say, God, I know you're there, I know you hear me, I know you see me. Guide me to the truth. That's all. Yes. That's what we are asking from you. That's all. No, no. I, wish yeah? I appreciate it to be fair. Anyways, nice yes. talking to you, my and brother. You as well. All right. Thank you for no worries. No problem. You are welcome, my brother. Look after yourself. Yeah. And uh, be this, spot, this spot next week. Yes, yes, I will be here next week. Yeah, inshallah. This, this spot. Spot. Inshallah, same okay. spot. Inshallah. Come back next week, and yeah, no, we definitely. look forward to see you. Yeah, I'll be with my with my guy that I saw me. I'll definitely be okay. next week. Good. Yeah. All right. Look after yourself. All right. Yeah, you All right. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. All right, inshallah. We ask Allah to guide him and to show him the truth and to guide him to it. Inshallah. What? The guidance is from Allah Azza wa Jalla. We are only just showing the path, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair all. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa. Nasta'ulun tubli.